This is just a quick demonstration of uh, four photogrammetry scenes that I've done and I've put together uh, running on the HTC Vive in Unity. Apologies for the the video quality here. I just set up a uh, a GoPro to record me uh, as I'm wearing the headset, and then a camera on a tripod to record the screen. This first scene in is the underground uh, archaeological site of San Crisogono in Rome, Italy. And this is a very early Christian uh, basilica that was discovered in 1907 underneath the present day uh, basilica of San Crisogono. So here I've, I'm using a teleportation movement uh, mechanism where you use the Vive hand controller, you point at the ground, and you can teleport to that location. Um, see there's some sarcophagi that I'm looking at and architectonic elements that are laying on the ground. And this is a, a 3D scan of the actual crypt in Rome. So it was made from about um, 150 photographs. So right here I'm standing in front of the, the painted altar, and then I'll take a look at these frescoes on the wall that are still fairly well preserved um, today. So I think now I'm going to go to the next scene, which is San Carlo alle Quattro Fontane in Rome. Also in Rome, it's a Baroque church. And this uh, I 3D scanned as well. Th this is using fewer photographs, only about um, 90 maybe, 90 photographs. And I've done the, the same thing, putting the informational placards around. I, w I would like to make these more interactive in the future. But overall, the, the visual quality of the scan is really good. Um, the textures are really high resolution, so you can actually get up there and, and see at one-to-one -one scale uh, without very much loss of um, quality at all. And again, here I'm just using the teleportation. You can see the little green laser shoot out uh, to move around the space and look at the, the details. This church was designed by Francesco Borromini, and it's, it's my favorite church in Rome. Uh, you can probably tell why. It's absolutely beautiful on the inside. I did not scan the cloister. I'd like, I hope to do that next summer. Here I think I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious of uh, my head movements, so I'm trying to move more slowly and give a better feel of what it's like to wear this, because when you are wearing it, you, re you really do feel like you're in this space. Uh, the last time I was there was last summer, and uh, you sort of forget what it's like to be in an architectural space like this, but when you put that headset on and you're standing in the the virtual environment, it, it really feels like being there. It's really incredible. And the so I put some lights in in Unity that are just shining on the, the altars, uh, highlighting those uh, pieces of art, as well as the one coming in through the window and shining on uh, the floor. So here I jumped up onto the altar using the teleportation thing and you do you feel like you're standing on the edge of something it's it's really uh, surprising taking one last look around before we go to the next scene which is one that I just made up um, it's 
an outdoor environment because I wanted to see how well that worked uh, in Unity and VR. So I used fog to mask the horizon and I put a 3D scan of a storyteller figure from Mexico, pre-Columbian Mexico. Uh, I scaled it way up. This is only maybe 16 inches tall in reality, but I scaled it up here just for atmospheric effect. Put him on a sort of in a clearing in a forest and gave it a cloudy atmospheric sky and some particle effects in Unity um, t to heighten the uh, <laughs> the experience. And as with the previous two scenes, the, the storyteller figure here is a, a 3D scan uh, of an actual object in the real world. And so you, you get this really nice texture quality and you can see every uh, scrape and, and surface imperfection. There's one on his side right there. Unfortunately, the camera I'm using to film this looks like it's intermittently focusing in and out. Hopefully that's not too distracting. And then the final scene is Saint-Chapelle in Paris, a royal chapel uh, built in the 1200s. And the most incredible thing about this, obviously the real space is just amazing because of these enormous stained glass windows which were recently restored, and I was there last uh, summer visiting my sister. This floor is not the actual floor of Saint-Chapelle. This is from, oddly enough, the upper church of the first scene, San Crisogono. So that floor I scanned uh, in San Crisogono, the, the present-day church, and using it here because I could not scan the floor in Saint-Chapelle because there were too many people. Um, this is another one of my 3D scans up at the front here. It's the Chimera of Arezzo. It's obviously not in, it's in Florence. It's not in Saint-Chapelle in Paris. Uh, but I wanted to put it in there um, so to, to show when you are wearing the VR headset and you're up close to an object, you really feel like you're standing right next to it. You want to reach out and touch it even though you can't. This is an, the, the Chimera of Arezzo is an Etruscan bronze, and it's got an inscription on its right foreleg. I'm not sure if I sort of zoom in on that. <laughs> but a Chimera is a mythological beast that had the body of a lion, the tail of a snake, um, and f for some reason, the head of a goat growing out of its back. <laughs> and in this example, the the snake tail is attacking the, the goat head. I guess it's a creature divided against itself. But in person, this, um, this bronze sculpture is in a uh, fairly dimly lit room when you go, when you see it in the Florence Archaeological Museum. And you may only be able to visit it, if if you ever do get to visit, you may only get to visit it for a few minutes, but now you can examine it in, in much closer detail than uh, you would ever be able to in reality. And that, that, to me, is the really amazing thing about these VR headsets, is that you can, Saint-Chapelle or the Florence Archaeological Museum are bustling with people and you have a limited amount of time, but now you can we can capture these environments and these objects, and you can visit them anytime you want to. And you actually feel like you're there, which is the crazy thing. So that's about it. These are I threw these together last weekend, um, and I'm hoping to create, generate a lot more of them and and make them available at some point. Uh, so if if this is something that people would be interested in, I I would be more than happy to to hear from you. And if you want to try it out, uh, send me an email, and I can send you the the Unity executable. Uh, and then hopefully at some point I'll I'll be able to put this on Steam and 
let people download it and try it on their own for, you know, you could spend as much time in St. Chapelle as you want. <laughs>